Just block it out and do the job. Think about the money, not the bullshit. Call me back when your shift is done. Maud won't be happy, but uh, <laughs> I feel pretty good about it.
Chi, you there? Do you just sit on that radio all day? I just got a tip off. The Salvadorians found out about a drop we're getting near the docks. You gotta get there. Quick, T, or we're gonna lose the package. Oh, when are these clowns gonna get the message? are incoming, Oscar! I've made the pickup. I think I lost them! Good job! Trevor Phillips reporting for duty. Good. Listen, man, we got some heat. Cops, feds, uh, I ain't sure, but they got radar set up. Scanners. They know there's an operation going down here. So you're saying we lie low for a while? No, just fly low. Business don't stop. Buyers are waiting. If you stay close to the ground, you won't pop up on their radar. is made, amigo. Another happy customer. Delivered. Excellent. Made the drop. That means all the buyers have their deliveries? Nice work. Bring the plane back in. Oh, so let's get this straight. I, I bought the hangar, I fly the plane? 
What you bought was a share of the business, a business that has taken a long time to set up. I handled the contracts, uh, the logistics, uh, the communications, the authorities, the competition, and so, yeah, yeah, you fly the plane. And you track my every move. It's a perfect storm of paranoia and recklessness. How can we go wrong? And about this competition. Who the fuck are they? Who are they these days, man? They're runners everywhere. Some local crazy rednecks. And the Mexicans, of course, mainly the Aztecas right now. And the Salvadorian gang, the Marabunta Grande, they got real dangerous the past six months. There used to be enough pie to go around. Now everyone wants the same piece. And who are you with? Just so I know who I'm pissing off. I'm independent. I work with local buyers up here, the cartels down there. I mean, I'm not stupid. I look after the bagos, I pay dues from Madrasso, but I'm freelance, man. One more hit. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sort my life out. Ronald! Hey, T! It's n nervous Ron! It's crazy Trevor! up some good shit.
If you want to borrow my stem, just say. Hope you're gonna pay this time, Trevor. You hope what? Forget it. Just don't break anything or hurt me. The cheek of it. Maybe I'll pay, maybe I won't. We're two local businesses supporting each other, Melvin. I don't have to shop here. All the disreputable people smuggling guns into the country these days, just be grateful for my patronage. Of course. Sorry, Trevor. gonna get us some food. No, you said that. I said I wasn't. I'm the one trapped hiding up here day and night. I ain't had nothing but potato chips in over a week. It ain't my fault you blew up the lab again. And anyway, I got plans. I hope by plans you ain't talking about Dirty Debbie. Don't you dare call her that. That girl's like a door handle, covered in germs and everyone gets a turn. Hey, screw you! She's changed! I ain't sure I want any food you handle now. Which is lucky, because you ain't getting none. Who the hell is 
Who's there? There's a bounty on your head, and it's mine! Bounty hunter! Take him down! Okay, enough already. You got me. Oh, that's better. Now let's go before I change my mind on the whole dead or alive thing. Sit your ass down in here! Wasn't very nice, Larry. Whoa! Hang on! Surely it ain't. Trevor Phillips? Am I that forgettable? Well, I was pretty messed up back then. And you, well, years ain't been kind to none of us, have they? How you been? Oh, oh, I can't complain. Yourself? You know, up and down. Look, sorry for that back there. Didn't know it was you. Hey, no harm done. Glad to hear it. Ha, well, isn't this pleasant? So, seeing as we're old acquaintances, what do you think about giving me a pass this time? All I did was cook up a batch, not even a real crime. You know how it is. Well, let's look at this objectively, shall we? You've shot, shot at me, insulted my rugged good looks, and shamelessly gone after my market share. I just consider yourself extremely lucky your heart is still beating and not being stomped under my foot right now. Oh, yeah, right. I heard about Johnny. Yes. If it wasn't for the fact I'd made a commitment to Maud and have a soft spot for the mature woman. Maud? Oh, hell, she smells like spoiled chicken feed. Maybe you can work your charms on her, see if she'll let you off. She's certainly hankering for some male <laughs> company, huh? What'd you think, huh? 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 No way. I'll take the jail time. Second bail jumper, and I already know the feller. Maybe I need to take audit of my social circle. Well, if I got to go in, who better to go in with than my old pal Trevor? We had some good times, didn't we? No, we really didn't, Larry. I sold you drugs. Then I can only assume you started buying drugs off someone else, then started selling your own drugs. These, on their own, do not constitute good times. We had a real nice cook site this time, too. Next thing you know, whole trailer goes up like a rocket. Must have gotten lazy again with the measurements and the shake and bake. As a wise man once said, rarely does a tweaker a good baker make. Huh? Right? I still can't rightly believe you're a bounty hunter. If what I heard about them bikers and Ortega's crew is true, I wouldn't have figured you have much time for a sideline. Well. I am diversification personified, or personification diversified, as a psychological evaluation once said. Say what? Don't worry about it. Look, it's been fun catching up and all, Larry, but I think we've said everything that needs to be said, don't you? Whatever you reckon, Trevor. Don't be shy. Hello, stranger. Who's this? Hello, Maud. I found this man wandering the streets, and I thought that maybe you uh, might be able to find him a home. 
I think I can do that. Anyway, let's not waste all day with the inconsequential chit-chat. You'll be receiving a file from me shortly. Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting? Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell. Why not? All right, then. Up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my... All-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay. You see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. So, what now? We are gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? <laughs> Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Ain't she your beauty? Drives like a dream. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. If you keep on criticizing my shooting, You'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. If you wreck my buggy, Trevor, here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I want to see how you deal with a moving target. Can I have some money? This, this is, is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. Nice! Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. It beauty. And again, Trevor. That was some damn fine shooting, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Suck my pecker. <laughs> Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? 
The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. Him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. Ah! Sing to me now, song dog! And another! Drop it! What? That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Ah, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. Guy, mm, my favorite. You piece of shit! on meth, the other half's on toilet cleaner. Fuck off. I really gotta get some underwear. I'm sweating like a goose at Christmas. Fuck off. Come on! 